Okay, what we have here is a fluorescent light. It's barely lit. And you can see the uh, nodes here. And the radio frequency, the zero spots of the uh, waves. Anyhow, this is the... Uh, it's the waveform. It's coming off a uh, flyback transformer. And the amazing thing about this it's being powered by a function generator. 10 volts. And this thing puts out a couple watts, not very much. 52.26 kilohertz. Running a sine wave. Anyhow, we built this in the lab. It's got 700 turns of number 30 wire. We took a uh, flyback core from a television. And this is made out of PVC. Wrapped uh, 700 turns. We uh, did some series and parallel uh, tank circuit calculations today. Measurements, find out uh, the best high voltage and best uh, impedance results. We've got a 30 uh, picofarad uh, capacitor right down here, 1,000 kilovolts. Uh, it's in parallel with the, uh, the circuit. We put it in series. Impedance will drop down, but the output is not sufficient enough to, to run the light. In fact, we'll turn the light off here a little bit. Okay, we're in the dark now. You can see it's definitely being powered. There's the function generator. Yeah, we turn this light back on here. Get some light on the subject. And this is the... Uh, <clears throat> the drawing for the, uh, the flyback, the uh, ferret core, a couple C, actually it's a C, one of them has got a, a round, this is actually a round, it's not square, one side will be square and the other side is round, goes through the transformer, transformer goes through the middle here, core. 700 turns number 30 wire, and we had PVC tape between the uh, layers. So, this is for the Donald Smith uh, circuit we're working on. We started this a couple years ago. Went on to other projects, come back, and uh, we've got the original core, or the coil that Donald supposedly used, the uh, Baker and Williamson, it's on order, should be here in a couple days. So we're going to be tuning this thing here to run that core, as well as uh, running a amplifier circuit, 12 to 24 volts of power of this thing with a uh, function generator powering the uh, input and eventually we'll have our own sine wave generator to, to power this rather than pulses and stuff so there you have it